Welcome to Carbon Flush, your engine health specialist. We will be performing a carbon clean on an Alfa Romeo Giulietta 1.4 Multi Air. We already did the base run on the dyno, so we're going to start the cleaning process now and pick it up later on on the dyno again. Now we're going to install the inlet hose from the machine onto the vehicle's inlet um, to start the cleaning process. So removing this part, putting on the carbon clean inlet, and that's it. Welcome back to Carbon Flush. We just completed the cleaning process on the Alfa Romeo uh, Giulietta 1.4 Multi Air. We're going to be looking at the uh, pre dyno run and the post dyno run. This is the initial dyno run um, of the Alfa Romeo uh, Giulietta 1.4 Multi Air. The initial wheel figures was 125 kilowatts and 266 newtons below 3000 RPM. Um, I consider that as just a boost pipe because you can see it's pulling back. So max there you're looking at about 258 newtons, and we'll match it now with the final results after we done the clean. This is the final dyno run after we did the carbon flush on the Alfa Romeo. So you can see the peak kilowatt figures on the wheels is up to 133 wheel kilowatt and then torque sitting at 258 um, in just above the 4000 range. You'll see there's no boost spike here at the bottom. Um, that you can be due to um, having it in dynamic normal mode. There's just a boost spike at the bottom, so we don't care about the figure at the bottom there. Um, so you should see, uh, look at the gains higher up in the RPM range, um, which is quite substantial um, over the whole of the rev range from 4000 onwards. Here we have the overlay of the before and after run. So you can see at high RPM, 4200 plus RPM, it starts gradually increasing in power. That is where your, you, can, you can see the carbon process worked, it's, it's magic. Um, to open up the exhaust ports, inlet ports, to get bit, a bit better airflow. The, the car in question does have a downpipe and exhaust, so the gains here could not be related to a block cat or anything like that. So it's mainly internal to the motor. Um, so at high, high RPM, let's say top RPM just before, before red line, we see an increase of about 12 and a half kilowatts on the wheels and about 25 newton meters of torque. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm Clement from Carbon Flush Africa. If you have any questions or queries, or want to find out a bit more, you can visit our website or give us a call.